Hello, Oscillate Sync here, and today I'm excited to be able to share with you my new free online patch editor for the Korg Volker drum. So like my Volker FM editor, this is a web browser based editor. You will have to be using Chrome or Opera for this to be working. And I also hear that Mozilla works with a plugin. I think the plugin is called Jazz, so you can give that a go as well. But uh, Chrome is what I mostly test it in, so that's one that works the best. This editor gives you access to all of the parameters for all six parts, all in one interface. And also down at the bottom, we have control over the waveguide as well. So let's take a real quick look at how it works. So the first thing you need to do is select your MIDI interface. At the moment, this is set to my Arturia Microfreak, which is plugged in over USB. That's not what we want. Instead, we want my Focusrite Scarlet here. Um, you don't need to set the MIDI channel because as it says in the instructions here, this editor currently only works with the split channel mode on the Volker drum. So that's the standard factory default of one MIDI channel per part. I'll probably do a version for the single channel mode, but at the moment there's still some bugs with that. So I figured let's let's do it on the version that actually works properly at the moment. So I've got a little pattern set up on the Volker drum at the moment with uh, just one of the parts unmuted, the rest are all muted. So I'll just hit the go on that. So at the moment, this is a kit that I've made myself previously. Uh, what we'll do is start by hitting init patch, which is going to set all of the parts to this kind of standard sort of droning sound. So here we are on part one. Uh, we've got our two layers here. Let's get rid of layer two for a second. And let's just quickly create a kick drum sound. So got a nice low sound, boom, boom, low sort of bum end. Uh, so on the sine wave here, uh, we'll set the, um, mod to this setting here, which is just our normal sort of pitch mod. Give it a bit of an amount, a bit faster. Maybe not quite as much of an amount. Maybe reduce the release a little bit. This is not quite as long and boomy. Uh, okay, we can bring up the second part here. Uh, maybe we'll have like a little sort of um, bit of noise to it. So perhaps we'll use the bandpass noise here. So the pitch on the bandpass noise actually just changes the bandpass of the filter. Maybe some of there, make it nice and short. So we've just got a bit of attack on there. Yeah, something like that. That's quite nice and punchy. Maybe we don't need quite as much of the noise. Cool. Uh, perhaps we'll put a little bit of drive on it. And maybe try the folding. That's kind of cool. Bit reduction. Not today. Not on this sound. Now we can have a look at the waveguide as well. So turn that up and scroll down to the bottom here. And we've got our waveguard parameters here, waveguide parameters, I should say. Tube, sounds good to me. Oh, we turn up the decay. Something like that, maybe. Uh, turn the send down a little bit. Probably don't need quite as much. Cool, yeah, something like that. Uh, so as you can see, having all of the parameters all set out um, in front of you without having to press any buttons to get any to anything, certainly for me at least, has really sped up um, actually how I make my sounds. Let's just uh, hit stop on that. So once you've created your sound, of course, you can save it to a kit on your Volker, but that kind of does lock it in the Volker a little bit. So what I uh, prefer to do, I'll give it a name so this patch can be called uh, Demo. There we go. Uh, if we hit this button here that says create shareable patch link, boop, uh, what we've got here is a link which you can share with other people or save in your bookmarks, save in a document somewhere, which will recreate uh, this entire patch. So all uh, six parts um, when you load it automatically, as soon as you load this link, you will get that patch. So this is a great way to share patches. Um, I would keep a lookout on the uh, what's currently called the 
uh, Volker FM patch sharing group on Facebook. So that might be becoming just a straight up Volker patch sharing group. Uh, so that'd be a great place to pick these up. I will be putting out some patch packs um, fairly soon. Um, especially now it's easy for me to do that. There's also this save patch button here. What that will do is it will um, basically send a MIDI file, which is just a string of CC messages that if you replay uh, using a MIDI player um, or a door into your um, Volker FM, Volker FM, your Volker drum rather, uh, it will um, basically provide that patch straight up. If you get stuck, there are some instructions up here. There's also the best places to contact me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, if you want to have a chat if something's not working. The other thing, if you happen to be a dev um, and with a bit of web experience, this particular um, interface, in order to build it, I've built a library called CSynthMata, uh, which is on GitHub. And this allows you to very quickly create MIDI interfaces just by uh, using sort of fairly standard um, HTML, you just kind of load and initialize uh, the library and just create um, input controls with a couple of special parameters and the library hooks everything up for you, which is kind of neat. So anyway, I hope you really enjoy having a play with this. Um, it's been quite fun to create um, and I'm hoping that um, I will get to hear some of your patches. If you make any patches, drop me a link on Facebook or uh, in the comments. Um, and also, as I say, if you are a web dev and you want to create um, controls, uh, control surfaces for your synths, um, I'm happy to talk to you, take feature requests um, uh, and all that kind of jazz. As always, thank you for joining me. Take care. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.